Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup, makeup tutorial like I said I would and I have no makeup on right now. I just look so attractive, right? But I really like the lighting right now and so it's really pretty outside so I have the light coming in through my window and I'm just going to film this today. So I don't really care if I'm on the internet with no makeup on. Okay, I don't care. I could care less. So basically this is just what I do every single day in the morning and everything. Now, um, I want to say this is not what I do. It's getting darker. Oh, this is not what I do every single day. Like I don't go to school with a whole bunch of eyeshadow on like this. Well, not like a whole bunch, but this is basically on the weekends if I were staying home, this is the look I would do. Or like, no, not staying home, but if I was going out on the weekends, because I don't go to school with like a crease color and a lid color and a highlight color and everything. I usually just go to school with a lid color, because first of all, I don't have that much time in the morning. And second of all, I just feel like that's a little bit too much for a 13 year old to be wearing to school. That's just my opinion, okay? That's my opinion. And maybe this is too much for a 13 year old to be wearing. I don't know. Whatever you do, keep doing, but this is just mine my look so yeah so let's get on with the tutorial first i always put a towel down look, look at this like i don't know i'm just why i'm showing you guys that but i forgot to put it there so yeah and then i always put my hair in a headband so my hair doesn't get in my way and this one's like from target and i like it because it has like little grippies so it doesn't like slip off your hair <laughs> okay so first i'm gonna take some chapstick and this is the eos lip balm and strawberry sorbet Put a little bit on, you know, whatever. And you cannot see my face, which is not that good. That's better. I had to get another Twilight book to stack my camera on because I did not have any room there. Yeah. So what I usually do is I will either take the e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer or the CoverGirl Smoothers SPF 15 Tinted Moisturizer. I don't want foundation because my skin's not that bad. But... Um, I'm not going to use either of these today, first of all, because I'm out of this one, and I usually don't put this all over my face anyway, I usually just put it, like, on my nose and down here and everything, but this is in light to medium, this is in nude, in case you guys are wondering, and this is too dark for me now, and this is, like, nothing that's in here, so I'm, I'm just going to skip that step for today, but, you know, you can do it if you feel, feel like you need to. Okay, so I'm going to take concealer, this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and it, it is in NW25, and I just take a little concealer brush like this, wait, I like this concealer brush better. This brush is from Essence of Beauty, and I just, this is getting a little bit dark for me too, so I'm going to show you guys a trick. This is the worst concealer, this is the e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter, and it's a really light concealer, so what I do is I just take some, because it's so liquidy, you can just transfer it really easily. I just put some on the back of my hand, like this, and then I take some of the MAC Pro Longwear, and I squirt it onto that. Mine's getting like really gross and watery, so... It's not supposed to look like that, but then when you mix them together, it gives my, me the perfect color because I'm mixing a darker one and a lighter one for my skin tone. So I'm just going to mix, mix them, mix them, mix them, mix them. And I just like to apply that right under my eyes. And then blend it in. And then I'm going to do the other eye. I'll be right back. So that is for my dark circles. And I want to say something. Usually if I'm going to wear my tin tinted moisturizer, I will take the makeup wedges and they look like this and that's why I blend it in like I just kind of dab it just let you guys know that because I didn't put any on today then I take my NYC cover stick in light and this is like broken because the top doesn't go on anymore but I have like barely anything like left I brought it back up don't worry and I just like to recover my dark circles which is really strange but I feel like it gives it brightens up my eyes a little bit more down there and it gives a little bit more extra coverage and then if I have any redness on my nose usually that's what the tinted moisturizer will take care of but I'm just going to use the concealer today. Any redness or blemishes anywhere. Now I'm going to take face powder. I really like the LA Colors powder. This is in nude. This is super cheap. It was like $1.50 at you know, the dollar store. And I use my Kabuki brush. This brush is from Target. Love this Kabuki, Kabuki brush. And I'm just going to basically buff this in all over my face. I don't know why I just love this powder. It's very nice. I don't need that much coverage of powder, so it's really good. Okay, now I'm going to take my blush. If you watched my Target haul, you know I just got the e.l.f. blush brush and my new e.l.f. blushes. This is in Tickled Pink. I miss this blush so much, you guys. It is the prettiest peachy, like, pink. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty, and I missed it. So if you want to know what happened to mine, go look at mine in the Target haul. But I'm just going to load up this brush, some blush, and I'm just going to smile.
Yeah, I really miss this blush. This blush is like the perfect pinky color for my skin tone, and I love it so much. Okay, now for the eyes. I'm going to prime my eyes real fast with Urban Decay Primer Potion. And this is going to be really annoying because I'm going to have to do both of my eyes. I'm just going to put a little bit on your, each of your eyelids and blend it in. Then I'm going to go on to my Urban Decay Naked Palette, and I use this palette every day. Every day. Well, for my everyday look. And then I'm going to take the color Sin, which is the prettiest, like, light peachy color. I'm going to take the Urban Decay Shadow Brush that came with it. And I'm just going to get it on my brush. And tap off any excess and place it right on my eyelid. Now I can't see what I'm doing, which is bad. I need to get a mirror. Okay, I got a mirror. Because I couldn't see what I was doing. And then just gonna keep putting this on your eyelid. And I always put my lid, lid color in my crease, which is pretty strange. But I'm not sure why. And now I'm gonna do the other eye, so I'll just be right back. Okay, so I put Sin on my lids. And Sin is my favorite color in the palette. It's just. I don't know, it's just my favorite weird, right? I don't know. <clears throat> now for my crease, I'm going to take this up and up blending brush. Where's, oh, okay. Up and up crease brush from Target. And my favorite crease color in here is Buck because it's like a matte soft brown and it's perfect. I'm just going to get my brush in there. And I'm just going to work that into my crease. Okay, so now once you've got that color in your crease, take a blending brush and blend it out. This brush is from LA Colors and it's like my absolute favorite. Alright, so I finished blending and putting my colors in my crease and everything. So now it's time to highlight. I never really use a highlight color, but sometimes I do. And my favorite color to highlight, as you can probably tell from my previous tutorials I've used Bone from Ulta because it's like a matte and it's not exactly white and it's not exactly like a yellow it's like a perfect whitish yellowish skin tone color and I'm going to place that right under my eyebrow it looks so natural too so I'm going to do that to my other eye now it's time to do our mascara so I'm going to curl my eyelashes Okay, and then I got this from the matte counter. I'm not sure if I was supposed to take it or not, but I did. So, I'm just going to run this through my lashes. It's like a little thingy for, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a little spoolie type mascara type thing. I don't know. And then I'm going to take my favorite lengthening mascara, which is the MAC Fall Slashes. OMG. MAC mascaras get such a bad reputation, but I think until you have to try this mascara, you're going to think very differently. Differently. It is just, has a really just nor normal brush, you know. But it just makes my lashes so long. And my brother one time, he was like, I was wearing just this mascara, and he goes, do you have fake eyelashes on? And I was like, if it looks like it, then yes, I do. So, just apply one coat, and I'm going to do my other eye. Now I'm going to wait for that to dry a minute. <clears throat> While we're doing that, I'm going to do my eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Blackest Black. And let me tell you guys something, this is one of my all-time favorite makeup products. If you watch my favorite beauty products video, yeah. And then you know that I love this. I'm going to take an Eco Tools angled eyeliner brush. It says Eco Tools. And this is so gross and so dirty because I use this with it every day. So I'm just going to dip it in there. And I'm going to put it on my tight line. And how I don't, I don't have to like lift my lashes up because I've trained myself not to do that, you could say. So I'm just going to... It's like right on the tip, so it's like really easy to get up there. I'm just going to kind of push it up. And it's just going to get onto there. So I love tight lining because... Look, look at the difference. Doesn't it make your lashes look fuller? And it looks like... It just looks so much better. I don't know why. 
Now for my waterline, I'm taking an e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush, and this just came with my eyebrow kit from e.l.f., and that's because it's black, because the normal one is usually like that. But I'm just going to dip it into the gel liner and get a little bit on the tip, and this is going to be extremely hard. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on my waterline. Now I always put eyeliner on my waterline and my tight line. I don't, I have no idea why, I just always... Always do. I haven't always done that though. I've actually usually oh, put it on my lower lash line, but it's okay. It's okay. And I use a gel eyeliner because I think it stays on a lot longer than pencil would. I'm not putting this away. And if you have made any mess ups, you can just get some makeup remover on your Q-tip. And I'm just going to. Clean it up under my eyes a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead back to my upper lashes and I'm going to comb through them again so they don't look clumpy. So they look like that so far, they look really long. Well, to me because I don't have long lashes naturally. So then I'm going to take, I do this in such a random order. I go mascara, liner, liner, mascara, which is so weird. No, I do. Mascara, liner, liner. Mascara, mascara, yeah, because you'll see. And I've used this in my tutorials. This is a L'Oreal Linear Intense Felt Sip Liquid Liner. And I'm just going to try to do this on camera. I'm just going to do a really thin line up here. Oh my gosh. That doesn't look that bad. Okay. Okay, and the bad thing about putting a liner on your waterline and tight line is you always have something in your eye after that. It sucks. Okay, so after we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and use the Great Lash Lots of Lashes mascara. I've done a review on this. Love it. Well, like it, you could say. It's good. And I like to use a lengthening and a volumizing mascara, so this is my volumizing mascara. And then the last step for eyes is to do your lower lashes mascara. I'm going to use the False Lash by MAC again, and this I love for lower lashes. I don't know why, I just do. I guess because the brush is so thin. Why is it smudged under there? Okay, so we're done with the face and the eyes, and I usually just do my blush with my face, obviously, you can probably tell. And then, like, I am a freak about my eyebrows, so I take one of these little spoolie thingies and brush um, up and over. Okay, so that completes the eyes. Now for the lips, I'm taking my Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Sparkling Sand, number 740, and just applying this. It's my favorite lipstick. And I like to put a gloss over it. This is the MAC Luster Glass and Love Nectar. And I love luster glasses because they have the brushes instead of the sponge tip sponge tips, so I'm just going to put it on. It's like the best neutral color lip gloss. So then, of course, you can take your hair out if you're done and everything. I'm pretty much done. This is how I do my makeup every, not every day, like when I go to school, this is not what I wear every day. But, and this is what I do on the weekends and everything, and basically my favorite eyeshadow look and, and yeah. So, this is a really, really long video, and I am, I'm so sorry about that, but it's my everyday makeup. So, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna... Talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.